Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Every day we see articles, blogs, and news about the tech industry's latest revolution. Whether it's about blockchain, developments in artificial intelligence, or data analytics. In fact, the word revolution is probably used a bit too often. But research across these areas is disrupting not only the IT and computer science field, but a variety of industries. In the last decade, and especially the last few years, computer science and IT have been becoming an intrinsic part of basically any industry that you can think of. For example, AI systems are being deployed in automobiles, data analytics has become an imperative part in marketing, blockchain and cryptocurrency are changing the very core of finance, and the list goes on. IT is no longer really a separate field. In fact, it's more of a backbone of other industries. And within IT, it's the programming languages that are the core of every innovation that we see today. So to put it simply, programming languages are a series of codes written to perform a specific function. Right from adding two numbers in the calculator on your desktop, to the most popular AI and data analytics systems used. Programming is at the base of it all. It's becoming so ingrained in everything that we see, that it's being considered the most critical job of the future. Anybody who knows coding and programming languages will either be a company's biggest asset, or will be able to build their own company in a niche that they're passionate about. So in today's video, we're gonna have a look at these three major fields that have an impact on a variety of industries, all thanks to code. Now let's jump into it. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is essentially a field based on how to get machines to understand, learn, and think on their own. So to put it in a simple way, it's creating systems that can perform some of our brain's functions independently. So for example, let's look at self-driving cars. Now I think it goes without saying that these are cars that can move without a person driving them. So this means that they can identify traffic, obstacles like garbage cans and people, etc., and be able to move accordingly. If there's traffic ahead, it'll stop. If there's an obstacle on the road, it'll either stop or drive around it. The car can perceive things, understand them, and decide what to do all on its own. Programming languages help us achieve this by translating our understanding of the brain into code that machines can understand. And of course, this is just one example. There are many more systems like facial recognition, smartphones, payment methods, streaming services, et cetera, et cetera. Data analytics is another field that's potential is so enormous that we can't even possibly imagine it. People call data the new oil, and that's pretty accurate because anything and everything is data. And data can be manipulated, understood, categorized, uncategorized, and so on to understand the things around us. Today, the most prominent example of data analytics applications are social media platforms. They leverage it to perceive, understand, learn, and predict user behavior. For example, Facebook, Google, and Amazon are the data giants who are leveraging the source to the best of their abilities to improve their business. Google can predict our subsequent searches based on the current search. It can accurately ask us what we want to type, and it doesn't stop there. It shows us all different results based on our locations and the information that we engage with. And Facebook ads have never been better. Businesses can target and reach out to their target audience by merely setting parameters such as age, sex, location, interest, behavior, income, and the list goes on. All someone needs to do is enter the values and within minutes, they can get their campaigns rolling that can reach out to as many people as they want. Once again, behind these disruptive innovations lies mathematical concepts translated to machines via programming languages. Between artificial intelligence and data analytics, some of the most popular languages would include Python, Ruby on Rails, and JavaScript. Blockchain. Blockchain is the latest addition to the list of buzzwords in the IT industry, and it deserves to be there. It started with the invention of cryptocurrencies as a method of payment for products and services, and it's progressed quite a lot in the last decade and has become so much more. Today, it can disrupt the world of banking, finance, and stock exchanges by making the complete system more transparent, secure, and autonomous. And if you thought that that was it, then you're wrong. Because like artificial intelligence and data science, blockchain showcases a promising potential to revolutionize processes across industries like fashion, health and medicine, real estate, gaming, entertainment, and so on. Blockchain is relatively new compared to fields like artificial intelligence. And in the last decade, it's managed to penetrate so many industries for various functions, such as payment methods, sales of music, arts, books, investments, borrowing and lending, trading in-game assets, 
play to earn models, et cetera, et cetera. Despite being such a young industry, it's accomplished so much. And all of this was possible because of programming languages like C++, Java, and Solidity. And these are just three examples of areas where programming languages can affect a wide variety of industries. And within these areas, the scope for building your own niche is immense. The fields are vast and deep for you to explore. So there we have it. We've had a look at how programming languages will surpass industries and domains. Once again, if you found this topic interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.